Okay guys, so it's actually been about a half hour since I started that Chocobo World recording for the specific reason of I <laughs> recording software. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just going to explain what just happened there, um, why I'm frustrated uh, along the same lines of getting over it with Bobby Fennet? Ferret? Fennel? Funnel? Ferris? I don't know. Bobby whatever his name is. Uh, basically, I ordered these copies off of eBay. Every time I load the game, things happen. I'm going to be vague about it to start. Things happen and it does not work out in my favor whatsoever. First of all, I have this game on the PlayStation 1. I can run it on the PlayStation 3 because I have one of those backwards compatible ones. Just don't have an HD 60 yet. So I ordered these on eBay. These nice little discs. Great game, cool, comes in all those little fancy cases, fancy schmancy, whatever. Not very fancy at all, but thought it would work. Configuration file, sends my recording software all the way off the screen. Hilarious. Running the game, can't even select my little split whatever thing. I can't even, I can't even literally capture the game because I can't get my mouse away from the game. That is how janky, yes, I use the word janky, that is. Enough said, Final Fantasy VIII is still one of my favorite games, despite this hilarity setting it up. I'm just gonna ROM station it because I bought three copies of the game. Final Fantasy VIII back in the day for computer, Final Fantasy VIII for the PlayStation 1, and now I bought a third copy from eBay. So hey, I'm fine doing this. I bought three damn copies. Everyone else, you go buy it. It's an amazing game. Now everyone's like, seven's great. No, they're just fangirling over cloud. Nope, nope, nope. I've already ranted about this in Stardew Valley. I am not gonna rant about how much I hate Final Fantasy Seven. For now, eventually I will. Anyway, so we're gonna go into Final Fantasy Eight. It is just as confusing as its counterpart, which would be Seven, because technically Seven was all the magic and science experiments and shit like that. Eight is the, the romance fantasy game. It's basically the opposite. Instead of, I'm an angsty zombie falling apart, I am, you know, basic military college student who can draw magic from enemies. Like, it's, it's not the same at all. One uses materia, one uses Guardian Force, like, I'm not going to get into comparisons. Anyway, so, I am going to try to portray this in the best way possible. It is going to have upsides and downsides. Hopefully, I can kind of discover the meaning of life through video games. I'm kidding, by the way. I am very sarcastic, just a heads up. Um, by the way, I have played this game as many times as I said before, about 74, 75 times somewhere around there. You don't believe me, but trust me. It's possible to get the ultimate Gunblade on disc one. That is a thing. And I can do it, eventually. Just need to get that T-Rex or... Anyway, I'll, I'll touch on that later. So, without further ado, Final Fantasy VIII is going to have some commentary from me on this one. I'm not going to do a long play without commentary on this game because, let's face it, if you want to get the game without commentary, you'll go play it. If you want an honest opinion of the game for each step of the way, this is what you're here for. You're not here to watch someone play the game. You're kind of here to hear a review in the moment, if that makes sense. I mean, hey, if you are here just to see the game, gets a good idea, power to you. Just go buy it. Or, you know, get a copy that works. I'm not saying torrent it. I'm saying literally buy it or get someone to give it to you. Not torrenting. I mean an actual disc. It's a freaking amazing game. You guys need to get this. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm just going to run through and hit the play button on this thing. All right, so, and I'm going to knock things around on my table, apparently, too. 
Come on. The, the game takes a little bit of time to load up. I apologize. I'll edit out that thing. <sighs> so, Final Fantasy VIII. Squaresoft. Prime Day is back before it was Squeenix. There's nothing wrong with Square Enix, just, you know, they made some really good old games. So normally I would look through the credits and see all those, well, credits, but I don't really want to do that right now because it takes a long time and I know you guys aren't interested. Um, I forget what my buttons are. Well, that's hilarious. Oh, Zed. So running this on the computer is not the best idea, is it? Especially not when it's a console game. And I do apologize for all of that blank space down here. I'll try to fill it with like a dancing chocobo or something like that later. Um, no guarantees, but at least it'll be something, right? Let's have it loop over and over and over. And this is one of those games that starts out really freaking vague. Like, you have no idea what to expect when you're bumping this up. Like, you look at the box and it doesn't say anything about the... this. Just like, okay, cool. Deserts, oceans, beaches, plains. If you come here, you'll find me. Where are you? Like, that kind of thing? Like, you have no context for this, and you won't until much, much later. Um, that being said, I apologize for the really cruddy graphic quality. It is a PlayStation 1 game, though. <sighs> Such good times. And like, you don't know any of these characters. So this opening video is kind of like... Why? I mean, some things were like... Final Fantasy VI, for example, Tara Branford. It opened up that game, and she was like... She was with Biggs and Wedge. You got to see her raw magic, magic power, because you got to play her as a character. And then suddenly, you wake up, you have no memory, you don't know where you, why you got where you are, basically, or how. That kind of thing makes you like, genuinely associate with a character. This kind of thing is like, who are these two guys? Like, they look like they're like the last two warriors alive, and they're trying to fight for the right to own Earth, or something like that. It's not the most straightforward video. And don't even know who those two are either. Uh, that being said... By the way, they're training. Yeah, so they're sword fighting in a military college. And, quite literally, they're using fireballs and not burning alive. Because magic. Magic. Greatest explanation of life. Wouldn't it be great to slice somebody and feathers come out? I suppose that's what scarecrows and stuff are for anyway. I will make fun of this game, but I actually have the logo tattooed on my back, so... I really can't knock it too much. Just... You know. I'm not mincing words, either. I will be very sarcastic, and I will be very blunt. I'm also apparently holding the control button down with my microphone, so that doesn't help at all. Cool. How are you feeling? Well, I just got slashed in the face, so... My forehead hurts. No kidding. Looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. Talk to me. Tell me your name. Squall. I really hope he was born in winter. If not, I'm going to be very, very, very disappointed. Um, I can't even... 
I, I, I guess I'll just keep it. Normally I'd nickname him after the Kingdom Hearts character, Leon. Who, by the way, David Boreanaz. Why don't you take it easy in training? Next time you might not be so lucky. Tell that to Cypher. And now we finally get to know the other guy's name. Cypher. More or less anyone. Rebel Child. Cool. <laughs> Why don't you ignore him? Of course he can't just run away. I feel like this was, like, written almost by a high school teacher. It's like, oh, so you want to be cool? Well, don't get hurt, kid. <laughs> it's like, I'm your teacher, but I'm also your friend. Quistus. Oh, right, I forgot I can only name my main character. Come, get your student. And then, of course, you got those, like, military uniforms, too. Like, they're in pencil skirts and things. Oh, I don't even know who that is. I, I know who. You guys don't. We meet again. And then you get to meet Quistus. Who will literally... Annoy you... For the most part, until you get a black hole. Then she becomes your whole world. That sounded weird out loud, but you'll understand eventually. Oh, I knew it would be you were Cypher. Then why did you look so surprised and like, ah. Today's the field exam. Cool. I'm really having troubles balancing my microphone here, guys. Is there something on your mind? Sound like a very naggy mother or ex-girlfriend or something like that. What are you laughing at? What's so funny? Happy, sure. I don't know anybody who, like... It's like... Monster Hunter World, coming out in January. When I get that game, I'm not gonna be like, Ha 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 ha, Monster World! Monster Hunter World. And someone's going to be like, why are you laughing? What's so funny about Monster Hunter World? And I'll be like, oh no, I'm just happy. That doesn't happen. This... I f I'm actually trying to be... objective about this game. And it's making my perception of it worse. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it is awkward small talk anyway. I mean, instructor and student. How do you make that kind of conversation? And like everybody, more complex than you think. Ugh, you'll never understand me. <sighs> Tell me more about yourself. What the hell? Did you just freeze like that? Am I not allowed to move backward? What the hell, Quist? Oh, there we go. Did she, she likes to pause with her foot in the air. Look at that. Haha! -ha. I can walk... Oh, Walk with it making a sound. And of course, this is just a beautiful thing. Can't help but wonder how long it took to model, and I'm pretty sure they're going to do a remake of Final Fantasy VIII, or at least a re release. I wonder how long it would take them to build Balam Garden in new graphics. I've attempted it. It took me about three hours just to do the elevator. So I was trying to figure out like the pivots and like the frame wasn't proper. It just kept making triangles and stuff, and I was like, no. Cool. Stay scheduled. Rumors like that. So yesterday, yes, the field exam for C D. Okay. This is another thing. And this is one thing that pisses me off about people who play this game. Why is the D capitalized? You can't call it seed if the D looks like the start of another word. It's capitalized, which means it's the start of something else. Why do people keep calling it seed? That's my bit. Maybe it's a translation error. Maybe every single instance of that word was control F and replaced with a capital D. That is the only way to explain it.
Cool. Free time till the exam. Excellent. I am always in top condition. Meet in the hall at... Oh, shit. 4 p.m. I should know this. I work with 24-hour clock. But I work in time difference, so it's like... 1600 for me is noon because noon our time is 1600 in the UK so time difference makes me think 1600 is noon I don't have any questions oh and cipher do not enter your partner while training shazam oh right I forgot about that one and you'll understand that as well, because Quistus has a whip. I like that girl there who just walked off screen. Anyway. Cool. Let me look at my computer first. Eh, what a pain. I don't want to do it right now. Too many loading screens. Fire cavern yet, have you? You won't be able to take part into the CD exam if you don't pass the prerequisite. Yeah, I was gonna go this morning, but Cypher. Uh, yes, I was in the freaking hospital. Why weren't you at work today? Oh, I got hit by a car. Can you work tomorrow? Hey, I have cancer. You can still make your shift tomorrow, right? Freaking teachers and their ridiculousness. Uh, here stays the study panel. We get the front page. <laughs> that front gate. Cool, I can access the study panel from a seat. I've never used that study panel. Study panel? Cool. I don't want to talk to them. Actually, yes, I do. Although we constructed Treppy. Oh, they even did the little sound effect. It's the small things. It's the small things. Well, they're diehard fans. They're like... Jesus Christ. They're scary. They're like stalkers. Who has a fan club with their teacher? Like, who? I never understood that teacher-student fetish thing. It just doesn't... <sighs> um... I don't know what to say. Bumped into me. There. Not in a hurry. Just come to my class. There's no room over. Yes. I just transferred here. Can you give me a quick tour? I mean, you are in a skirt. And. Well, it looks like a different uniform. But you transferred here, so you should have been familiar with it. That uniform looks a little too short. Actually, let's come back here. I'll. Oh, oh, too late. And this nice guy here, uh, was it Q? Wait a minute. would you like to have these? My brother gave me these cards, but they're not my thing. You can have them if you like. Look at the card game explanation, blah blah blah, hit square. Not everyone's a card player. Cool, seven cards. By the way, interestingly enough, and this is not a paid sponsorship by the way, I'm just saying, if you want to buy an actual set of triple triad cards on eBay, it's a thousand freaking dollars for one of each of 110 cards. There's an artist on eBay who sends this out in a nice freaking box for $50. Because why not? 
Plus they're double-sided too, but I haven't been able a chance to play them. I just wanted to have a set of triple triad cards. I mean, some artist out there does it. I'm pretty sure other artists do it too. But if you ever think about getting triple triad cards, it's expensive. I mean, they are all hollow foil too, so there's that. But I would end up probably being that guy. How do I challenge people to cards? I actually don't remember how to do it. Where's that running kid? Actually, let's challenge you. Q, D, F, Z, X. Why is X the menu? D is cancel. What the sh? Oh god. That's the pause. Why is that pause? Okay, guys, I am having a bit of a meltdown right now. D is cancel. Z is X. Q. W, E, R, F, T, G, B, V, O, V, no, C, X. Not X. D is cancel. S. There we go. S. Frank, that took a long time. I need to set up my controller, I guess. So, triple triad. Best game there is. Hands down. Okay, hands up, I guess. Basically, you just start with all these random cards. Now, the top number is the top of the card. Bottom number is the bottom of the card. Can you guess which one's the left? The left number. Can you guess which is the right? The right number. Now, all these ones that you see. I'm gonna get wrecked, by the way, in this one. Basically, what happened? Why did you not take that? So basically, the whole goal is trying to get more cards than the other player by the end of the round. Oh no. Oh no. This isn't good. Yeah, see, I just drew. Basically, this is the problem with the card game, is there's a whole bunch of different rules that apply, and I will get into these rules a lot later. Um, some of these rules are good. Let's wait for that running kid to come back. He will come back. Eventually. <sighs> that running kid has a good card on him, actually. Minimog, you'll see. Normal, there he is. You little asshole. There it is. And I love it when the enemy goes first. Freaking love it. Because now I get to just do this. And now I have his mini mog. Sort of. I still have to win the round, but. As long as I stay one step ahead at all times, which I won't. At all. Oh wait, actually. Did I? Yes. Take that mini mug. Mm -mm. Say what? That's literally the card game. You are just flipping cards. And this is something that I'm going to do in my spare time. It is a lot more of this. But just so you have a firmer grasp, is all those cards that you win, or get from monsters, or get from whatever event, what have you, you keep them until an enemy takes them back. Whoever has the most cards at the end wins. Obvious. Oh god. I don't like this at all. This is the worst, isn't it? 
pretty good. And so it starts out, by the way, all these enemies have ridiculously strong cards. Oh yeah, and if the card is in blue, you don't have it. If it's in yellow, it means you had it, but you lost it. Don't you just buy whatever, I don't care about you anyway. Access the menu to save your game. I forget what the menu was. C, X. Let's save. Always a good idea. Bling! Uh, D was cancelled. I am going to switch that later. So, that's basically the mini mod card game. And I will explain a lot of things as we go on. Act? No. I'll wait till I get the effort card. This is one of those games where you don't have to level up your character technically. But it's better to get the magic and stuff. I'll explain that. So, we've gone over the basics of the game so far. Let's see if I can actually equip anything. Don't have anything yet. You'll see it though. And those pink purpley pillars of... Pleasure? I don't know. They're... Oh, I'm forgetting my girlfriend. GF. Guardian Force. Now. I'm just going to keep Quetzalcoatl and Shiva. Okay. I don't want to deal with Quista's explanation. I'm going to explain this one to you as best as I can. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to... Stop it. They basically just say, hey, let's go to the fire cavern. Now. I will show you... the entirety... of this game. Junction. What's a collateral? GF. Draw. Magic. Cool. So, just a heads up here. Your characters. Regular. Elemental defense, status defense, whatever. You you have compatibility with each guardian force. So where she has Shiva at 640, Quetzalcoatl 620. She has more compatibility with Shiva, which means she's going to cast Shiva faster in battle. She also has Laser Eye, it's her limit break. We'll get into that later. Um, this guy. Same deal. More with Quetzalcoatl, less with Shiva. I am not turning Gunblade Auto on, that's just ridiculous. Uh, indicator will keep on, and then as you get more Gunblades, you get more limit breaks. Now, just like the character has limit breaks, each Guardian Force has different things you can learn, such as card. Turn an enemy into a card. Easy, right? HP Junction. You can literally... I'll explain this, actually. I really should just explain it. <laughs> card I want to keep. And... Shiva. Junction's Magic to Strength. Sure, why not? Better than boost. Actually, boost is probably better. So that's literally the only explanation I'm going to give you right now. Actually, that's not literally the only explanation. I'm going to load up the menu quickly and show you another quick one. Nope, actually, never mind. I junctioned abilities. I'm good. So this is the world map. As you can see, there's a, there's a town way over yonder. Ballon Town. Ballon Garden, the biggest one already at. Light bug. Cool. Our one is trigger. So 
So what she means by that is, if I'm attacking with him, I can hit the trigger button. Okay, that wasn't the trigger button. Let me just practice that. I need a lot of practice, apparently. Why am I having so much trouble with this? I actually don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this right now. Normally it goes like... And after every battle, you will see that Guardian Forces will receive AP. Literally, your Guardian Forces earn experience with you. 50 experience... Oh, R was the trigger, sorry. That explains everything. And not only that, they will also gain 1 AP, if they got 1 AP, sometimes more, toward uh, abilities. Now the draw system. You're gonna hate me, guys. You are actually gonna hate me, and I will skip through, by the way. Oh look, enemy got the strike first. As always. So, and this is the problem with the game. Draw. Draw. Cool, I got seven fires. Cool, seven fires. You can hold a max of 100. You see where this is going, I hope. And now starts the long and painful process of getting all the freaking items, not items, magic. And this is gonna take a while. I will end up cutting through this footage to get to the end, but right now, it, it's pretty sad. And I can still use that. I'm not going to. But I can. And this is the problem with this game as well. Is I know eventually you can get different items and things. And you can kind of extract magic from items. Great, but when you don't know that starting out, and you're a good adult with this freaking draw system, and you're stuck pulling fucking magic from a fucking monster. Let's put it this way first time I played this game, I sat here for hours drawing magic. That's all I freaking did. And it doesn't even do much, like. You'll see. You'll see. <sighs> 27 fires. Really, game? Really? Anyway, that's not the point. Did I miss the trigger again? I'm pretty sure I hit the trigger. I'm having trouble with this freaking trigger thing, guys. Boom. Well, at least she got a critical freaking hit. Maybe T is triggered. Nope. <sighs> it's not W. Maybe it's E. R. It's not F. Eventually, I will get to hang this. Yeah, yeah, you and your blue eyes, blonde hair, whatever. 
Those M-stone pieces. That, by the way. That's what we kind of want. Um, just want to make sure we have the right... Our... It is R that's the trigger. It's R1. Which is... Yeah, so it should be the R. Why is it not triggering? I don't know. Whoops. There we go. Anyway. So. Technically, I want the ice magic. Anyway, I don't even care at this point about drawing magic because I know what's coming up. Okay, I'm sick of having to move this microphone every friggin' two seconds. I'm gonna use this on the keyboard. Ah, uh, much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am not letting her tell you how to junction things. Literally, I will give you the... I know how to use the freaking gun blade. I will tell you how to use the magic, by the way. Junction. Magic. Spirit. Oh, look. Fire is the only one that increases the stat. Done. Some magics increase it more, some do it less. That's all you gotta know with that. If you move to the right, or left, sorry, left, boom. You can put death magic. You can put sleep magic. You can put stop magic. You can attack with any status ailment magic you want and put it as your status attack, and you will more often than not deal that status effect. Yes, death is included in that. That was my cheap leveling up way. Just saying. Just that's, that's all I can say, really, with Junction. Uh, yeah, sure. On his support. It's struck in the buff of 14. I'll do 20. Normally, I can do it in about 15, 12 sometimes. Oh, you a holes. You started in four seconds earlier. My job is to support you in battle. Would you friggin' move? Oh, right. I forgot about the other bit of information. Yeah, by the way, I speed through this dungeon. Specifically, I don't want to deal with the dungeon. Oh, right. Red bats. Let's see. Oh, look. More freaking magic we can draw. Fire? Probably. Thunder. Oh, great. Fire bats. With thunder magic. I don't want to deal with, with the mess of all this. Oh, right, by the way, Guardian Forces, they have health. So the Guardian Force will lose health instead of my character every time they're in the middle of casting. I don't have boost on this character, so I can't boost it. Dead. Like I said, you barely even have to grind in this game. Bosses will literally give you all the magic you need. Or Guardian Forces. Guardian Forces will give you tons of stat boosts, etc. There's the draw point. So remember I talked about those purple things back at the base? That's what this is. It's a draw point. That's it. And when you draw them, they become gray. That's it. I can junction his magic stat, but why bother? 
I won't have magic to use at that point. Hooray, game. Thank you for being a dink. <sighs> oh, look, bombs. The fire out. Okay, would you? I should probably set the battle mode to active. Now we just get to sit back and wait for Shiva to do it all. Actually, I'm gonna look. Squall kind of draws some shite from it. By the way, there's also items to help you increase your compatibility with Guardian Forces. Luckily though, this is one of those games where I don't have to grind. Look at that, it's... They start you off overpowered. This entire dungeon. Oh, that Shiva level up. Like, literally? Oh, right, forgot. Guardian Forces, when they level up, their health also levels up. I believe their strength also levels up too. Oh great, Buell. Alright, this should work. Why is my gunblade not working? Because just bash it. Maybe he is a gunblade. I don't know. I just killed that thing. There's literally nothing to this dungeon, like. Ah, that's the nicest thing anyone said about me. I have potential. Oh. What's this, like? Oh, cool. I get to fight a bit of steam. And this bothers me as well. It's always, oh, you haven't gone to the fire cavern yet. How many Ifrits are there? Yep, she's gonna die. Oh, no, she's not. But like, seriously, if all of these students go to the fire cavern to get Ifrit, are there many Ifrits? Is that how this works? If there are many Ifrits, how many are there? How many students are walking around right now able to summon a freaking Ifrit? Ifrit, sorry. These are the questions. And this is also what I don't get about Final Fantasy. Like, I understand the summon material. It gives birth to another summon material. I understand that Esper is turning into Magisite. And then... Oh, they have Shiva. But if you can walk around the world... And boom, here's an Ifrit that's ready to F your shit up. Do you get what I'm saying though? Like, do you understand it? That'd be like if everybody was like, Oh, I can just walk into that cave for some nuclear bombs. And then suddenly, everyone has nuclear bombs, but no one's using it, because only you can use it, because you're the main character. <sighs> At least with Final Fantasy X, if you summoned Valfor, 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 Val, whatever, Bahamut, Baham, wow, every freaking summon is event. If you summon Anima, Nobody else can summon anima at the same time because that Aeon lent you your strength. It literally graze it out. This game doesn't have any hint at all. It's just everybody can. 
potentially any time. Ah, this game, I tell you. It bothers me in so many ways. But that's what makes it okay, is like, I can think of arguments for and against. This guy's freaking out of a Shiva, he doesn't care about Thunderbird. Not until I figure there's some more health. Ooh, what can I draw for you, actually? Cure! Now I can heal myself. Really? I draw magic from him, and he's like, Oh, you're not bad. I'm a real boy. There's a reason I'm drawing so many cure magics, by the way. Oh, good. I can fail my Renzikuken. Again. At least now we can figure out what that freaking button is. Nope, 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 nope. Oop, there it is. It is R. Yeah, use it on Squall. I dare you. Yeah, you didn't. Whoops. I'm having trouble with my controls, guys. Would you? Ah. I keep overclicking. Die Squall. There you go. I don't care about him, really. It's just Squall. Now, Renella. Mint. She gets to launch a dog. You'll... you'll learn. She's hilarious. So selfy, but... She's hilarious in really childish ways. <sighs> I underestimated Shiva. Yay, a card. And this is what I was waiting for, was that card. You got yourself a GF, your junk sheet is LMJ. Here's an intro to I mentioned the status effects. You can do the same with elements. Done. That's all you gotta know. Suppose I should use my Phoenix down, and my Potions, and my Remedies. Would you? Okay, I need to figure out my controls soon. Or I'm gonna lose my shite. Now, remember I told you about the magic and how I was... Oh, I gotta do that on the map. Okay, forget I even said I started this that sentence. I'm gonna get there really shortly. You'll understand, I promise. Just gotta get out of this cave first. That's my problem right now. Oh wait, no one cares about that. There we go, there's the that's the explosion. That thing. Mm. And I hate these M stone pieces, by the way. They're useful, but they're also useless. I'd ask if you know what I mean by get out. You really don't. Oh, look back, attacked by a bomb. If only I had ice magic. Oh, look. You know what, just to be funny. Okay, 
pretty soon I'm just gonna cut to when I get into the cave. Especially because I don't want to deal with all of this summon playing bull hickey. Yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna cut to the cave area. I've already done about a half hour of gameplay, so I'm just gonna that too. Unless I got a Krista card. I've had a weird thing happen, by the way. This is like level six or seven boss card that sometimes you can get from the Krista card. Ooh, item magic. Or ice magic. Now, I've unlocked the ability menu. Ice, water, and ice magic from an item. I can tr transmute this into blizzards. 40 blizzards. Done. Instantly. I can junction Ifrit. Junction magic to strength. Oh, what? Pretty much the same deal. Oh look, status! Or elemental. This is literally the game. Oops. Um, whoops. Really? Four. Four experience. HP Junction will do. Would you? Right. You're gonna need Strength Junction. Fire Magic. We're gonna start boosting our elements, basically. Status defense would be the best one to get, but um, not gonna get it. Keep expecting Odin to show up. Oh look, you can draw both of those. This thing's probably gonna die in like two hits. Yeah, yeah, thunder. So, remember guys how I junctioned my strength and magic to two different abilities? One became 21, one became 11. I'm gonna explain that to you in a little bit more detail. Just a little. Weetsy, it's gonna be, it'll be wee. Hopefully this explanation works. So, remember I junctioned magic and it became 11. Now that I drew more magic from the enemy, it went up to 12. Now theoretically, I can do that. Now instead of 52, it's 57. Still 12. But eventually, the number just keeps going up and up until you hit the 100 mark. And that's the magic stat. So there's really not much you can really say about this game in terms of how you can get better. You just stop sucking, basically. Um, and I'm gonna be an idiot and enter this forest. Hmm. Okay, it wasn't so bad. And sometimes you can just tap your... I forget what the keys are. Sometimes you can literally just tap something. And you can run from the battle. Not that one. Oh, there it is. It's 
EMT apparently. What was the T button? Action. Uh, D. Delicious. There's a reason I'm mentioning this, by the way. I keep missing the trigger. So as you level up, and I'm not entirely sure how this logically works, so not as you level up, as you kill monsters, you do come across items and things like that. Um, Spiderweb, exactly, so Quistus can learn blue magic ultra waves. The reason that I'm mentioning that is because... Spiderweb. Cool, this is her ultra ways. Now when her HP is critical, she did have laser eye as her really that fucking close after a battle. <sighs> Not gonna let this down, am I? You know, I'm just gonna run. I don't care. There's a reason I'm just running. There we go. <sighs> cool, so Quistus is pretty well done. Cool, let's see. I swear to God. Taking care of your GF. Right. And then they, they raise the G... Okay, this is also what I don't get. They raise the GF level to 5 for the tutorial and then lower it again. Couldn't you just put it the same level as what I have, please? Yeah, so GFs gain experience along with your character. They also gain AP at the end of battle. It's what says GF earned, whatever. Experience gain battles and levels up the GF. They become stronger and get more health, things like that. AP gain teaches them abilities. You had to select one ability at a time. One. I should, I'm just, uh, that's, that's literally all there is. It's literally go in, GF, learn, select what you want to learn. Nice little description. Refine lightning magic. You can charge your magic vitality, which is your physical defense. HP. Raise your max health. It's that easy. Now, did he have health on? No, he didn't. Oh well. I'll save it for Siren. There's also a training center, by the way, but we'll get to that later. Oh look, now I'm here. Cure. Sure. By the way, if you want some really decent cards, the guy who operates the ticket booth to get into garden, he's your man. I'm also not entirely sure what this guy does. Sure, he wants to play cards. I'll play him. I'll win. Like if right now, you watch, I'm gonna fucking lose my effort. Ah, he has the top very good. And this is another trick, by the way. Look at the enemy's cards if he has them available. So, his top number... Oh no, that's not good here. I'm gonna place bait this round. Bait and switch is what I'm gonna call it. So basically what I'm gonna do in this is I'm going to set the little expectation. The expectation that my cards are 
shit. Which, don't get me wrong, they are. But, at least this way. I can get a bunch of other cards. There's a whole bunch of different tactics in this game, it's ridiculous. Um, anyway. He has good cards, but nah. I don't want to play him right now. I'll do that in my spare time. This is the guy. This guy right here. <laughs> see him again. Is that a little kid? Oh, you whore. Oh, yeah. Also, fun fact. At this point in the game, you can use the directory, select where you want to go. And you're there. Amazing! Um... I just realized it looks like he's got a line missing through his neck. It's a PlayStation. Oh, he does have a line missing in his neck. Is that supposed to be like the Adam's apple? Anyway, I'm gonna save the game here, guys. I've done this for an hour now. A little bit more with Chocobo World, because Chocobo World. Hope you guys like Final Fantasy VIII. I do. I'm hopefully gonna be as objective as possible bringing through this. <sighs> Not much else to say. It's a bunch of drawing magic for now, and you don't have to grind. You can literally just play through the story. That's not my O face, by the way. It's, it's not. No, I don't have an O face. Just, just get out of there. Um, yeah. So basically, I'm just going to kind of play through a little bit of the game. I can play through a lot more as time goes on. But this is just the basic mechanics first. It's literally, you run around, you trigger with Squall, you trigger Happy and his limit break. Quistus we'll get to later. Once I get card mod, you'll understand. Um... You'll meet more characters as well, by the way, obviously. Um, obviously, you meet more characters. There's more characters on the discs. Oh, she's on two discs. There's like her. Diane. Anyway. That's Final Fantasy VIII, basically. You have Junction Magic, you have Junction GDFs. They can do damage, or you can make yourself do damage. Either way, you don't have to level up. You can just keep powering through as you, basically. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had more to say about it right now, but until we get into the storyline, I don't want to spoil anything. Especially if anyone hasn't played this game yet, if you haven't been able to get it for PC or PS1 or on the PlayStation Network for some reason. Maybe you're an Xbox guy, I don't know. Maybe you just don't have the access to a disc, I don't know. Anyway, mm. at this stage, uh, I'm just going to bid you all a good night and hope you enjoyed this little session on Final Fantasy VIII. going to continue this further down the line and... Until then, happy gaming. See you guys soon, and remember, if you guys like these videos, be sure to hit that subscribe down button. Blah. Subscribe button down below. And if you have any game recommendations, I am all ears.